Hi everyone, I am Fedragon and in this video I will guide you through the first steps in creating vSphere 5.1 infrastructure. At this point I assume that TSXI is already installed on the hardware and that you have server's IP address and root password. If you are renting dedicated servers somewhere on the internet, uh, probably this will be your starting point because service providers usually do the installation of ESXi for you. On the other hand, if you are planning to install ESXi yourself, either locally or remotely, you can see how I did this in my video installing ESXi 5.1. Throughout this video I'll blur my actual IP address because I'm planning to actually use it for a while. The first step is to connect to ESXi host. So I'll point my browser just to copy IP address. I'll point my browser to server's IP address and I'll get the certificate warning. I'll ignore it. And I land on the VMware ESXi 5.1 welcome page. Here is a download link for vSphere client, uh, the tool we will use to connect to ESXi. So you need to download the client and to install it. I won't show you installation procedure because there is really nothing special in it. It's a very simple, straightforward, next, next, next procedure. I've ran the client and I've got this login form. Here I'll enter my IP address. Username is root, password. And I'll click login. Again, I'm getting this uh, warning about certificate. I'll ignore it and wait for a few seconds. And I am connected. Uh, this is evaluation notice. I'll click OK. And this is vSphere client connected to my uh, ESXi host. Let's say this is uh, home page uh, getting started screen. At this point, I want to emphasize one important thing about time settings. Uh, here we are facing two time settings requirements. The first, uh, virtual machines must be synchronized with the host they are running on. And second, if we are planning to implement uh, domain architecture, all the domain member machines must be synchronized with uh, the domain controller. We must accomplish both requests. Uh, if you have just one host, you can simply fulfill both requests by synchronizing the domain controller with the host through VMware tools. But uh, if you have more hosts, it's obvious that all the hosts must be mutually synchronized also. The simplest way for me to synchronize all the hosts and the domain controller is to set up the same time server for all of them. Windows OS is synchronized with time service at address time.windows.com by default, so I just need to set up synchronization for all my hosts with the same time server. I'll do this right now. Having my host selected, I'll select configuration tab, time configuration, properties, and I've got this time configuration dialog. Uh, here I want to add a new uh, time server, so I'll do this by clicking options button, then select NTP settings, add, the address is time.windows.com, although you can use any other time server if you want. I'll click OK. I don't need to restart NTP service uh, because it's not started on the first place. I'll click OK. I'll enable NTP client by checking this checkbox and I'll click OK. Although I had a few more things to do in the same dialog, I couldn't do this all at once since I've added the new server and enabled NTP service. Now I can start it by clicking properties again, options, and click start to start the ser service. Service is now started. I also want to select start and stop with host option 
so that my service will start automatically and i'll click ok ok and this is it uh, time settings is finished if you've got your password from service provider you'll definitely want to change it immediately so i'll show you how you can do this you should select the local users and groups tab right click root user choose edit in the edit user dialog box check change password checkbox enter your new password confirm your password and click ok this is all for this video in the next video i'll show you how you can install the first virtual machine thanks for watching and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel this way you'll support my work thanks again and be cool